So we're out here at the Liberty Estate Project. We're standing in the garage. Now you can see behind me, we did a previous video talking about the value engineering and pre-construction about this lintel installed over the two-car garage. Now, as you'll see here, we're gonna come back to the second floor, the metal pan deck that's being installed right now. We're gonna take you up there so you can see why um, that's being installed the way it is and why we opted to do that on this build. But behind me, the way this works is you can, part of the value engineering was to work through the steel lintel that you have right here. And what that does, that creates, there's gonna be a large cost to do ICF that was gonna bear the entire weight of the second floor on this large span. So by going to steel lintel, again, we, we can brace all the ICF over it, which means less rebar, less, less structural reinforcement. So the way this works is we have these cross beams running all throughout um, the home. And so it's installed a couple ways. You can see here to my left, we have these pockets up here in the ICF. So these pockets are for that beam, you know, it sits down like a ledger, sits down on top of that ICF. The ICF is poured in place concrete. So structurally, you can see where that would sit down and that's welded in. We have some plates in there that that's welded to to keep it, you know, strength from shear. Now here we have some, you can see here, we have some plates that have been installed in the ICF. Now, again, this is poured in place concrete. So you have these plates. And so these get welded into place. You can see where these beams have already been installed. So it's sitting on top here on this ledger, like you'd see in a normal basement with wood framing. And then on this side, it's welded in place. So instead of trying to shimmy in, you know, an I-beam into place and have it sitting, you don't lose any structural reinforcement when it's welded here with a good weld. So by sitting it there, it's sitting, you know, it's a brace there. And then we can lift it into place and weld it here and then run those bolts through. And that gives us that really strong connection. So again, to carry the entire weight of the second floor, knowing that we're going to have a solid concrete floor. Now, something to note, which we'll talk about is why we're using real concrete as opposed to gypcrete on the second floor and how that relates to the metal pan deck being installed. So you can see behind me, we have all the beams being installed across this first floor. Now, the question was asked, why do we go with structural steel as opposed to a normal wood frame ceiling? The reason being is we have height limits, just like we do in Scottsdale. We're here in Gilbert right now. So when you have a building height limit and you're building two story, by going with steel as a structural component, I-beams can be, you know, less height, like less thickness, less height than a normal glue lamp. So what that means is it gives us a taller ceiling on the first floor, a taller ceiling on the second floor. So when we have a pitched roof, like we do in this build, not a flat roof, you really need to optimize those ceiling heights because you're gonna lose on the roof itself on that pitch, you know, to match the design and architectural aesthetic of the community, you're gonna lose some building heights. So by going with steel, it allows us to build, as you can see here, a thinner connection from the first and second floor, and it allows us that structural component. Furthermore, as you think about a building that's gonna last and stand the test of time, uh, you know, a lot of us who have been fortunate to travel, you know, to Europe and other countries, you see these buildings that were built thousands of years ago that are still standing. And it's really important for the building community to build structures that are gonna last for a really long time. This build is gonna last a really long time because of the way it's constructed with Fox blocks and ICF and then the structural steel component. This is gonna be here for many years to come uh, for many families that enjoy this over the years in this wonderful community. So again, and we're gonna speak about why the metal pan deck, how that plays a role. But again, this gives us almost 12 feet here on the first floor and 10 feet on the second floor with, you know, a 30 foot high limit. So that's why we went with the structure of steel.